Big Fish Audio and Funksoul Productions are proud to present Vintage Horns 2. Vintage Horns 2 is a collection of virtual instruments specifically designed to emulate the sound of horn players from the 60s and 70s. Like its best-selling predecessor, Vintage Horns, Vintage Horns 2 was not designed to be a perfect, pristine-sounding virtual instrument. Our goal was to try to create a collection of brass and woodwind instruments that captured the character of horn players from the 60s and 70s that included all the quirks and minor imperfections that made them sound so good. To get the sounds we were after, we studied the playing styles of our inspirations, taking note of things like tone, vibrato, or lack thereof, the types of instruments used back then, and the special articulations used in some of those genres, like growling, singing, and flutter tongue. We deliberately left the tuning loose, and kept in some notes that other horn VIs would have deleted, the kind of honking, squawking, warbling, cracked, and slurred notes used by the classic players. The end result is a set of sampled horns with real character, and a product that we think is unlike any other horn VI available today. We think you'll agree, and we hope that you enjoy using Vintage Horns 2. The Vintage Horns 2 interface is simple and very easy to use. Let's take a quick look at some of the tools you have to work with. The reverb knob controls the amount of reverb added to the instrument sound. Below it is a window with a drop-down menu that allows you to choose between 10 different convolution reverbs, each emulating a different type of vintage recording space. Tape saturation is an effect that emulates the vintage style sound of recording to tape. The bass knob is a bipolar knob that allows you to increase or decrease low end. The treble knob is a bipolar knob that allows you to increase or decrease the high end. The ADSR section includes four knobs that can be used to adjust an instrument's attack, decay, sustain, and release. Now let's take a more in-depth look at some of these instruments. Vintage Horns 2 features 14 multi-sampled brass and woodwind instruments, each with its own set of articulations designed to emulate the style and sound of that instrument. I'll briefly go through each instrument and highlight some of the tone and different articulations included in the patch. The 60s cool jazz trumpet has two patches, muted and open. This trumpet is a cool and jazzy sound with no vibrato, inspired by Miles Davis, circa the Kind of Blue album. In addition to typical sustains, this instrument includes a set of cracked note sustain samples that can be triggered by playing high velocity levels. Here are the included articulations. Here they are muted. The bass flute is a dark-sounding woodwind instrument that was a staple of classic melodrama, horror, film noir, and B-movie soundtracks. This instrument works well for solo lines and in a section paired with other woodwinds. Take a listen to the included articulations. The bass sax grew in popularity in the 30s and 40s when it was used as a bass instrument in big bands. It has recently been rediscovered by UK R&B artists like Amy Winehouse and Clary Brown, where it has been used as a solo instrument and to double bass lines. Here are the included articulations. <laughs> The bass trombone has been a favorite of movie studio orchestras from the early 60s all the way to present day. 
This instrument adds a powerful low end to a horn section. Bass trombone was also used in many classic spy and thriller movie soundtracks, like the James Bond films. Here are the articulations that we've included. The classic film noir alto sax is the cliché sexy sax sound with a very wide vibrato. It's used in many film noir movies and TV scenes. This instrument can also be used for some jazz applications where a softer, Paul Desmond-like alto sax sound is needed. Take a listen to the included articulations. The Detroit Soul Piccolo is a high-pitched woodwind instrument used in many Motown productions from the 60s and early 70s. This instrument can also be used with large brass and woodwind ensembles, as in the higher register, this instrument is capable of cutting through even a dense mix. Here are the articulations that we included. The retro 70s big band lead trumpet is a specialized instrument inspired by the lead trumpet players who played with 1970s era big bands such as Maynard Ferguson, Thad Jones and Mel Lewis, Buddy Rich, and people like them. Lead trumpet is an aggressive instrument designed to be used as the first chair in a trumpet section. It only uses loud and medium volume samples and has a truncated low end. Here are the included articulations. The retro R&B alto sax is an edgy and funky sax sound inspired by the great Maceo Parker, who is best known for playing with the godfather of soul, James Brown. Here are the included articulations. The 60s R&B tenor sax is an edgy tenor sax with extended false fingering range and some added effects. This instrument adds a nice edge to R&B or funk horn sections. These are the articulations. The Roadhouse tenor sax is a hard-edged sax sound recorded using an edgy, growling tone inspired by the great Junior Walker and King Curtis. This sound was widely imitated and used by sax players in many bands, from Roadhouse blues outfits to cheesy Vegas strip club bands, and later the Rolling Stones and Bruce Springsteen's E Street Band. These are the included articulations. The 60s soul jazz flugelhorn is a brass instrument that has a big sound with a warm vibrato, inspired by Freddie Hubbard circa red clay. This instrument works well for solo lines or paired with tenor sax and flute for the type of small sections used on many retro soul jazz albums. Here are the included articulations.
The vintage jazz Barry sax is a baritone saxophone with a smooth sound and rich vibrato, inspired by jazz great Gary Mulligan. This instrument works well as a lead instrument as well as in a section for jazz ballads. Take a listen to the included articulations. The vintage jazz tenor sax is a smooth and breathy sound with rich vibrato, inspired by players like Zoot Sims and Stan Getz. This instrument will also work nicely in a small jazz ensemble setting paired with the muted or open cool jazz trumpet. Articulations include The 60s pop rock piccolo trumpet is a high-pitched brass instrument that was famously used by the Beatles on the Sgt. Pepper album. On pop records, this somewhat specialized instrument generally only uses a limited number of articulations. Here are the included articulations. Well, there you have it. That's Vintage Horns 2. We hope you enjoy using it as much as we enjoyed making it. To hear more demos or to go ahead and purchase, head over to BigFishAudio.com.